Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology forecast for Monday, December 19th, 2016. I'm Athen, and this channel is about using the actual constellations in the sky known as Sidereal Astrology. If you are new, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so the moon is still in Leo here today, coming off from Sunday. Uh, still a great time to be expressing ourselves, maybe accessing a bit of fun, playfulness in our life, a bit of entertainment perhaps, uh, creative energy even. And of course, uh, with the moon very close to the North Node today, going over there at the beginning of the day, uh, reminding us that this is all this new path for us collectively, uh, to be learning about what we're passionate about, to be learning about our self-expression and creativity and all this kind of stuff. So uh, really good there to find the middle path with everything that is close to the heart. And uh, the sun is actually slowly but surely transitioning to another uh, fire sign, Sagittarius. So uh, as we get into next week, there is this slow shift from what was a very watery uh, time these past few weeks, three or four weeks, uh, which is more about healing. It's more about uh, the deeper side to life, the vulnerabilities, uh, transformation, all that. So now, uh, slowly but surely, we are accessing a bit more of the transformed side of this. And this, again, is involving the self-expression, our vital life force, which is the sun. So transformed meaning a bit of open-mindedness, free-spiritedness, um, expanding those horizons, all of this kind of stuff that is Sagittarius. Now, speaking of Sagittarius, Mercury is going retrograde here in Sag. So uh, he's going to be stationed here today. So there is this slowing down now going into the rest of the week in regards to our mind, in regards to communication, in regards to the daily tasks. And uh, in Sagittarius, this is particularly our mind in regards to what is possible in life, right? Mercury retrograde through Sagittarius is helping us reconsider and rework our belief systems. And so that's a great way of working with this. I think today just sort of sort of uh, starting to reflect on this. You know, are we accessing those belief systems? Are we thinking big? Are we accessing the adventurous side to life? Are we accessing the spirit of life even? Now, there's no clear answer. And of course, this is taking time. Mercury will be retrograde for a few weeks. But these are the kinds of things we want to be sort of opening up to, is now reestablishing and reconsidering that connection to the the life force, which is Sagittarius, you know, the synchronicity, the, um, you know, seeing the life path, seeing where things are taking us, knowing that there is something, of course, larger than us, and, and there's a direction. And as we connect to that freedom of allowing that to unfold, that's, uh, that's what helps us really cultivate that uh, open mindedness and adventurousness. So uh, really good to start to reconsider, slow things down again, anything else involving the routine, involving the work, involving the communication, correspondence, really good to bring extra attention because oftentimes with Mercury retrograde, we can be on a bit of an autopilot, usually because when Mercury was direct, we kind of just, you know, we're just doing it. We, we just built these sort of automatic habits or automatic mode about what we're communicating or what we do on a daily level. But then when Mercury goes retrograde, is it starts to, you know, it starts to go into that internalized phase of, you know, just automatic subconscious or whatever with the communication and all this. So as we bring the extra attention to the self, as we bring extra attention to the communication, the correspondence, it helps balance everything out in that department. All right, so uh, so that's the biggest thing here today is Mercury retrograde. We do have a few lunar aspects. Uh, there's that moon going over the north node. <clears throat> we do have the moon opposing up to Neptune here. So I think balance when it comes to um, the uh, more imaginative and and uh, tranquil side to life. You know, if there's any extreme with Neptune, if you're feeling like uh, escaping or hiding away or very illusory or whatever it is, balancing that out a bit, all right? Just being as clear as we can, as grounded as we can today, uh, I think is a great way of working with this. And then in the evening time, we do have some nice aspects. The moon will be trining up to Mercury and Pluto, suggesting this whole retrograde stuff. And I think uh, it does make it a really good evening for learning, really good evening for exchanging, communication, learning, again, all in this adaptable sort of way, and maybe in a deep way, which is Pluto, uh, connecting to life on a deeper level. Could be good for intimacy, openness, and transformation and change. So that's the day in a nutshell. The way I would sum this up is Mercury going retrograde, this station, this pause with the routine, with the mind, with the daily stuff going into a sort of automatic internalized mode. But we want to join up with that. We want to 
Re do that reconsideration, reworking, reorganizing those things on the daily sphere. And I think most fundamentally, with our belief systems, with what's possible, with accessing that spirit of life, which is Sagittarius. And of course, the sun shifting into here is giving us more of a focus on this, more of that um, adventurous spirit, and the moon in Leo today in particular, uh, expressing ourselves and learning more about that. All right, so I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.